Good morning, Thomas Tigers, and welcome to the Friday edition of Tiger Talk. This is Mr. Clark Stokes. And Miss Barton. Today is Friday, October 1st, 2021. All right, boys and girls, please stand so that we can do our Thomas Tiger Pledge. I pledge to Thomas School to speak in a kind way and have a positive attitude throughout each and every day. I will be accountable to myself and others, and my actions will be an example to one another. I want to work hard at reading, writing, and math, so this Thomas Tiger can stay on the learning path. I promise to Thomas School to demonstrate self-control, and through my actions, the world will know. All right. Have a good day, Thomas School. All right, boys and girls, you may be seated, and I'd like to send it over to Mrs. Barton to talk about today's weather. Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Friday. Today, our high is 85 degrees with a low of 63 degrees. It might be a little rainy outside, so we might not get to enjoy the day as much as we would like to, but at least we have some high temperatures. Now to Mr. Clark Stokes for today's birthday. Thank you, Mrs. Barton. Yes, we have many birthdays to celebrate today and upcoming that we want to talk about. First, we want to start with Ladarius and Miss Dozier's class who is celebrating a birthday today. Congratulations, Ladarius. And then we have two more birthdays today, both third graders. One is Mackenzie and Miss Algar's class and Malia and Miss Crumbar's class. Happy birthday to you girls. And then finally, we have a couple birthdays occurring this uh, today and this weekend. We want to start with our Tiger staff. We have Miss Etheridge, who is celebrating a birthday today, and Miss Lily, who is going to be with us uh, for a little bit, helping with reading. She has a birthday on Sunday, so happy birthday to you ladies. All right, boys and girls, we want to turn it over now to Mr. Jackson for today's morning motion. Hey, hey, y'all, happy Friday. Um, good to be back on this Friday. Now, remember yesterday, hope you all enjoyed the O-Plank Challenge. I know it was good to see Ms. Bart and Mr. Clark Stokes pop down and do that. That was pretty awesome. So we're going to continue that. But today I'm going to have a little ab work to get ready for next week. Let's do some Russian twists. Now, I think you did them last year, but I'm going to do 10 sideways and then 10 kind of facing you to show you what we're doing with the Russian twist. So everybody get down on the ground. Let me get this camera way on down here. Okay, I am going to grab a ball to show you guys that when you do a Russian twist, you can hold weights with you. So you're gonna get your feet off the ground, okay? You're gonna get your shoulders off the ground. So both my feet and shoulders are off the ground. You're gonna take something in the middle, just hold your hands together, and you're gonna go over to the side with the ball and then back to the other side. You've got to stay off the ground with your feet and your shoulders. Let's go, let's do 10 or 12. Oh, it works your abs real good if you do it right. Feet off the ground, okay? And now I'm gonna turn sideways to show you what those feet look like. Off the ground, shoulders are not down, they are up. Let's go 10 more. All the way over to the side if you can. Just use your hands since you don't have a weighted ball. Let's do five more. Three, two, one. Good job with those twists. Over to you, Miss Love My Skirt. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Friday. All right, so here we are for Word of the Week. This week's Word of the Week is drenched. And the part of speech, remember, is an adjective. It is a describing word. And the definition of drenched is when something is soaking wet. All right, and it is Friday, which means our special feature is... This Week in History. So, This Week in History. In 2004, a giant squid was photographed in its natural environment. So, you may be thinking, well, that's not that special. But it is because giant squids live so deep in the ocean that they had, up until that point, had never been photographed alive in, in, in the ocean. So, you know, uh, scientists had found them washed up and dead or had caught them and brought them up. But here is the photograph. It is not that great of quality, but they, um, the scientists that found it actually worked for three years investigating and working with giant squids trying to get this photograph. They used a fairly cheap camera and a small fishing boat and were able to capture this picture. 
And in the process, I guess one of the tentacles of the giant squid was caught on the bait that they used. It did not hurt this. I mean, maybe hurt, but it did not kill or injure too badly the squid, but it, it detached. And when the researchers brought it up, they were able to measure it. And uh, they determined that the squid that they captured was about eight meters or about 26 and a half feet long. Holy moly. So, really interesting. All right, back to you. Thank you, Ms. Lovelace Greer. That was a very interesting fact. I did not know that. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining us for a Friday's edition of Tiger Talk. Hope you have a great weekend. I'm Ms. Barton. And I'm Mr. Clark Stokes. See you soon, guys. Bye, everyone. <laughs>